We are chasing after the untamed, the undiscovered, the undisturbed, and it seems that we are a step behind human colonization of raw nature, the last frontier, the depth of the ocean, the vast waters of the Pacific, the far islands of the Galapagos, Wolf and Darwin. We are sailing on the Humboldt diving vessel with an eclectic group of underwater explorers, instructors, commercial divers, repeat offenders in these remote waters. They traveled from different parts of the world, all looking for the same thing, the approaching shadow of the whale sharks, the sun-blocking shiver of hammerheads, the icy eyes of Galapagos sharks. We are all seeking the ancestral connection with the world that once was, but are we too late? There is a fleet of nearly 300 Chinese fishing vessels surrounding the natural park and its protected waters. A swarm of highly sophisticated fish extraction machines constantly following the migratory patterns of giant squids, the primary source of food for the hammerheads, but also harvesting other species which have been overfished and completely depleted in Chinese national waters. All right, we're getting ready for our first checkout dive to make sure that all of our equipment is working properly and then we'll be good to go. We're wearing 7 millimeter wetsuits to keep us warm while diving in water temperatures ranging from 66 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit depending on where we're diving. This dive is at Baltra Island, close to where we met the boat, so if there are any issues they can be resolved before we head offshore. After descending, the underwater world comes into focus, a mesmerizing kaleidoscope of marine life dancing in the current. Ripples in the water are currents of different temperatures colliding. Predatory sharks and large schools of tuna patrol the waters for their next meal. The large rocky bottom is different from the mainly Caribbean diving we've done. The sheer amount of fish is absolutely staggering. Sadly, a turtle swims by with a piece of plastic net attached to his shell. This close to inhabited islands, there's no escaping human impact. After about 45 minutes, we swam up to 15 feet for our safety stop. Back from the checkout dive, it went pretty well. All of my equipment is working, which is great. I just needed a little bit more weight to get down because at first I was just bobbing around at the surface. I had some issues with my mask, but I think that the hood that I had was getting stuck in the mask, so it was filling up with water the last half of the dive, so I had to clear it like every minute, but I think once I get the hood figured out, I'll be all set. The last part of the dive was great. There were lots of fish. We saw a white tip shark, uh, moray eel, these really cool starfish that were thin and a light blue color, really beautiful. It looks like this will be a great place to see nature as it really is. Wolf Island is about 140 nautical miles northwest of Baltra. The remains of an extinct volcano, it's just half a square mile in size, so birds are its only residents, above water that is. Overnight, we navigated to Wolf Island, one of the northernmost islands, and this is where it really we're all super excited to dive because you can see hammerheads, sharks, maybe whale sharks. So it's supposed to be an epic spot and we're almost there. So we're getting ready to jump in the water. 
If you're enjoying this video, give it a thumbs up, leave us a comment down below, and be sure to subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. We were instructed to grab onto a rock once we reached the bottom to avoid being swept away by the current, though we had to be careful where we placed our hands. We continued swimming along from one handhold to the next until we reached the viewing wall. The amount of marine life was absolutely incredible and we were blown away by the curiosity of some animals. I had never been in such close proximity to sharks, but once I realized their indifference, it was fascinating to watch them swim laps by us. This was the ultimate live theater experience, and we had front row seats to the utmost performance of raw, untouched wilderness. A huge thank you to our patrons. We're so grateful for your support. If you'd like real-time updates and additional content, consider joining the Harbors Unknown community on Patreon. A single hammerhead floated above our heads in the current. Not long after, another came in close to check us out. We swam off into the blue in search of the elusive wall of hundreds of hammerheads. Just before we were about to call it quits, a shiver of about 25 hammerheads appeared above us, their hypnotic movements captivating our full attention. There weren't hundreds as we had heard was possible to see. Maybe they're still here, but maybe they haven't escaped humanity's long-reaching hand. Nonetheless, it was an absolutely magical experience. The dive guide released the surface marker buoy, and as we hung out at the safety stop, we watched sharks below and could hear the distant call of dolphins or whales. Back on the boat, the crew had spotted false killer whales, so we changed out of our dive gear and piled into the panga to play with the friendly creatures. The name comes from having a skull similar to the orca but these animals are actually a species of dolphin. Highly social, they've been known to approach and offer fish to humans diving or boating. They form pods of up to 50 members, sometimes with other dolphin species, though they have been known to eat other dolphins. However, they primarily eat squid and fish. This unexpected mission was such a blast and everyone's excitement, including the crew, made it that much better. 
We left Wolf Island this morning at about 11 a.m. and we are now just approaching Darwin. Darwin is the northernmost island in the Galapagos, about 21 miles from Wolf. Remote, rugged, and tiny, it's also the remains of an extinct volcano with mainly bird life on land, yet we'd heard the waters below are teeming with marine life. We're now at Darwin Island and we're about to get in the water and this is a place where we are most likely to see whale sharks, so fingers crossed. <laughs> We're getting ready to go. As soon as we entered the water, a school of hundreds of fish swam beneath us. I swam over to the platform and watched the magnificent show on display. Several ocean currents converge at the Galapagos, the three primary being the Humboldt, Panama, and Cromwell. Humboldt is a cold south equatorial current running north up the coast of South America from Antarctica. And when it gets to the equator, it heads west carrying vital plankton feeding nutrients. The Panama current comes in from the north and brings warmer waters to the Galapagos Islands. Finally, the Cromwell, a very deep sea current, runs from west to east along the equator. Ocean organisms living in these waters die, sink, and decompose into their component parts, essentially nutrients. When this current hits the Galapagos, it's deflected toward the surface bringing more cool, nutrient-rich water to the surface, stimulating the growth of phytoplankton, the base of the oceanic food chain. More phytoplankton means more marine life, hence this incredible display we're witnessing. The shaker noise indicates the arrival of the star attraction, the whale shark. And we all swim out into the blue to get a closer look at this majestic creature.
I never tire of watching these amusing creatures, especially as we both struggle to fight the current. I couldn't believe our luck as the shakers sounded again and an incredible whale shark appeared. Whale sharks are the largest of all fish. Yes, that's right, it's a fish that can reach up to 40 feet in length. We went back to the platform to wait for more whale sharks. We swam off to investigate another part of the dive site. When I turned around, my group had vanished. I scanned the nearby divers but didn't recognize anyone. I stopped filming but fortunately found Fabio and our group within a short period, just in time to see another whale shark. It's incredible how close we could get to them. We then ascended to our safety stop to finish off another amazing dive. The first dive of the morning here at Darwin was unbelievable. We saw whale shark three times. Fabio was so close, he could have touched it. And it's just unbelievable to see them floating through the water. They're just majestic how they glide through. And it's really cool because they have almost like an ecosystem traveling with them, with the smaller fishes, then the cleaner fish. It's just spectacular. The last day, we headed out at sunrise. By now, we had gotten used to the negative entry where you simply roll off the pango with your BC deflated and immediately start swimming towards the bottom. This is done when conditions are rough on the surface and currents are strong. As I approach the bottom, time begins to slow down and I'm able to focus strictly on my surroundings. This time we were diving a different site, the walls of Darwin's pillars. We had to swim through the currents and find handholds to avoid being swept away.
suddenly, a whale shark swam right by us. It was the first time we'd seen one so close to the bottom. I heard dolphin calls and looked up. Sure enough, they were playing at the surface above us. In the distance, we saw a number of hammerheads, so we tried to get closer, but they quickly swam away. I turned and saw a massive school of jacks swimming towards me and was engulfed in what seemed to be a fish tornado as they began swimming in a circle around me. I suddenly realized I hadn't seen my group in a while and looked all around but didn't see anyone. I realized I had sunk down 20 feet and thankfully they were above me. While I swam up, a whale shark appeared from the shadows. Whale sharks have existed on this planet for probably over 70 million years. They are a living dinosaur, an icon and crucial to ocean health. Whale sharks sieve plankton, bait fish, squid, and crustaceans through their gills as they cruise along. When ocean waters are rich in plankton, it shows the water is full of nutrients and the ecosystem is healthy. Since whale sharks prefer waters packed full of plankton, their presence is a good indicator of a healthy marine environment. Whale sharks also regulate the ocean's plankton levels and prevent these microscopic organisms' numbers from growing without restriction. Thanks to their movement and feeding patterns, these animals carry nutrients from rich waters to scarce regions, helping to supply and balance marine ecosystems around the world. What an epic end to our diving in the Galapagos. The experience had far surpassed our expectations, and these memories would last a lifetime. A huge thank you to the captain and crew of the Humboldt Explorer and to all the adventurers on board with us. We had an amazing time diving the Galapagos.